Hello everyone, I am Jade and I am fat. This is how I would introduce myself several years ago when I was bulimic. Now I am just Jade, who wants to warn you about the dangers of eating disorders. This is what happened to me. I have always been a perfectionist. Everything around me was supposed to be perfect. My room, my marks, my looks, and also my best friend. Her name was Joanne and we met each other when we were both 12. I thought her to be the best friend a girl can imagine, smart, supportive and caring. When I was in my early teens my body started changing and my fight for perfection got much harder. You know those pimples here and there, changing body proportions, while Joanne was still remaining perfect as usual. She was just a late bloomer but I didn't understand it at the time, I thought something was wrong with me. Joanne was still very caring but I noticed that I didn't feel comfortable with her support anymore. She was always giving those small innocent comments like, you know, my aunt presented me a pair of jeans, but they are too large for me. Maybe you would take them, should fit you. Or, I admire you for your hard studies. I've always thought that being smart is more important than good looks. But I didn't think that those were manipulations. On the contrary, I started to believe that I was really ugly and fat. The feeling grew day by day and at some point I decided time had come to do something about myself. I had to lose weight. Don't think I was fat. I was absolutely normal, even skinny. But in my imagination, I was a horrible Godzilla-sized creature. That's funny how manipulations and obsessions alter our vision. It was the same old me but I was absolutely sure that I had fat everywhere. I had a genial idea. I had to count my calories and stop eating. I set a limit of 800 calories per day, but being obsessive sometimes I didn't even reach these. In a couple of weeks after I started a diet, I lost my appetite completely and could pass the entire day with a couple of apples. And I was still sure I was fat, fat, fat. Even the numbers on the scale went down very quickly. I managed to stick to the diet for a couple of months before my mother noticed it. In the meantime, Joanne continued heating me up with her constant bragging about herself and hinting that she was sorry for my extra weight. I resembled a skeleton. And now I know I had anorexia, but at the time I thought myself close to perfection. Just another kilo or two and I would be ideal. Mum thought otherwise and decided to force feed me before it was too late. I ate and <laughs> suffered because I was feeling how I was becoming fat again. I still remember that sandwich that was particularly gross and I asked myself why don't I just puke it out? Ah, that was such an enormous relief. Brushing my teeth I thought why can't I do it all the time? This would be a perfect solution. Mum would see that I eat and I remain thin. This is how I entered a magic world of bulimia. It was nice to eat again. I was so stressed by Joanne even if I loved her so much. I needed to eat to silence my nervousness. At some point I passed on to binge eating. I could eat an enormous bowl of pasta or three pizzas in a row and then throw up just to continue eating. Crazy. I did it several times a day and also at night. Mum started to suspect something because food was vanishing from the kitchen too quickly and once during the night found me puking in the bathroom. I assured her I just caught a bug but she was not convinced and kept an eye on me. After several months of this, I was in a horrible state. I had awful skin, toothache, I was losing my hair, had bruises all over the body. Vomiting all day is not a very healthy thing. Psychologically, I was also unstable. I went from euphoria while eating and puking to desperation while looking at myself in the mirror or talking to Joanne who gave me priceless advice on how to lose weight even more. It was also hard when you need to hide your behaviour from everyone and your mum is checking up on you all the time because she suspects something. All this pressure made me binge even more obsessively and I saw no exit from that vicious circle. I remember exactly when I got an eye opener. My best friend Joanne started growing like I used to two years before. At some point she was way beyond the perfect standards and I decided she needed the same support as I did. As I said something like, would you need a couple of tips how to lose weight? She started a rant. Do you mean binging and vomiting like you do? No thanks, that's gross. I don't need to lose weight. I'm perfect whichever way I am. Good lord. 
She was telling me about physical perfection for months. She was literally telling me about how fat I was and that I was obliged to lose weight and now she's okay with her own extra weight? This was more than double standards or simple manipulation. This was toxic. I put my life in danger listening to her and she did it for the sake of controlling me. I broke up with her, but after this discovery, my desire to binge and my hunger became unbearable. Unfortunately, I couldn't stop and I didn't have guts to seek medical help either. So I had to tell everything to my mum in the hope that she would do something. She forced me to go to a specialised clinic where they deal with conditions like mine. I am now more than a year clean of throwing up and I am proud of it. I am still skinny. My health became better but unfortunately I have several physical consequences that will remain as a reminder for a while. Thin hair, bad teeth, low level blood circulation, gastritis and I want to warn everyone. If you think that you need to change physically for the sake of perfection and to make someone like you, remember that friends should like you even if you are overweight, just because they are friends. And perfection does not exist. Please share this story so that others know how dangerous it can be to be obsessed with perfection. I'm sure you've heard other stories about anorexia or bulimia, so please share them in the comments.